Hi there, students. Rhetoric. Okay, rhetoric is a noun. It can be either countable or uncountable, but most normally it's uncountable. You can also use rhetoric as an adjective, but the word rhetorical is more commonly used as the adjective. Okay, what is rhetoric? Rhetoric is the art of using language effectively and persuasively. It's the art of public speaking, of persuading people to do one thing or another, to debate. So the ancient Greeks and the ancient Romans studied rhetorics, particularly Aristotle. And there are three main tools in rhetoric. Um, you can appeal to people's logic, you can appeal to their ethics, and you can appeal to their emotions. So if you're good at rhetoric, you can use these different concepts to persuade people. And this is the technical side of uh, rhetoric that Aristotle might have talked of. But today we use the word rhetoric slightly differently, meaning somebody who is just saying empty words. They don't really believe in what they're saying. So rhetoric is using persuasive or effective speech but insincerely everything he's saying is pure rhetoric most of what politicians say is just rhetoric it's designed to make people believe it even if you're being insincere a salesman will use rhetoric to get you to buy his product. A lawyer will use rhetoric in court to um, get the to convince the court that his client is innocent, even if he believes his client is completely guilty. You could have inflammatory rhetoric, the inflammatory rhetoric of extremist groups, the empty rhetoric of political promises. Okay, so it's using language to get people to believe things. And nowadays, they use it very often to get people to believe things that the speaker doesn't really believe themselves. The passionate rhetoric of a human rights campaigner. They're using their using language to persuade people to act. Or rhetoric, empty, meaningless language. The rhetoric of whoops, sorry, the rhetoric of promises given by a candidate in, in an election. The company had a new CEO and he gave a speech to the whole company. But this was just rhetoric designed to boost the morale of staff. I guess hype is just a form of rhetoric. We also have the, this phrase, which is quite common, a rhetorical question. A rhetorical question is... Uh, a question that somebody may ask, but they're not looking for an answer. They are just using this question for dramatic effect, to make people think about what they're saying. Um, do you think people in the third world want to be poor? Okay, this is a this question. It's not designed to be answered because, of course, they don't want to be poor. But it makes you think about the situation, about their situation, and about other things. It draws your mind into it, and you're using logic and ethics as your rhetoric. 
So, next question. How formal is this word rhetoric or rhetorical? Um, let's see. I think if you're using the word rhetoric to talk about speaking abilities, logic, ethics, emotions, this is probably a 7.5 in formality. However, if you're using rhetoric to talk about empty words i think this is used quite commonly and i think i'd probably give this a 5.5 or 6. so empty rhetoric six in formality he learnt the art of rhetoric 7.5 in formality rhetorical i'd probably give this a six as well so what about the origin well in latin we have the word rhetorica and this comes from the Greek word rhetorikos, concerning public speech. And then you have the Greek word rhetor, rhetor um, a public speaker. And that's where the word orator that we have today comes from. So rhetoric, the art of speaking well and convincing people, or empty meaningless words to try to persuade people to act in a certain way or believe a certain thing even though you don't really believe it yourself so there we go if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon bye for now rhetoric